We are finally back to dumpster diving. I have missed it. I have missed you guys. Again, I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your sweet comments, your emails. You guys are amazing. And my family, myself, we all wanna say thank you so very much. Sometimes the best medicine for dealing with the loss of loved ones is to just busy your mind dive into work and for me that's always been what I do. I throw myself into work as much as possible if I'm stressed out, if I'm having a bad day, like that's just how I deal with things. So I'm gonna go dumpster diving tonight and you guys are coming with me but I have a very special guest coming with me tonight too. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, you're gonna find out at the dumpsters. We are gonna get ready to head on out to the dumpsters, but first, I wanna show you my car, the inside of my car, cause y'all are not gonna believe it. My husband detailed it for me, and let me tell you, it took him four hours to clean my car. That's how bad it was. I know, I know, it's so gross. The outside of it is also sparkly. Even the tires, look at them bad boys. There is no mud, no dirt. The inside of my car, look at this. I don't have um, mats, I do need to get those, but my husband scrub-a-dub-dubbed my car. Of course, my children were in it, as you can see, and also over there with their garbage everywhere. <laughs> Even vacuumed the back, which this was covered in cat litter and just dumpster juice and all the things. But it's nice and clean now. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to go mess it up. <laughs> I am going to recycle these, grab some shoes, and we're gonna head on out. So let's jump on in these dumpsters and do the dang thing. First dumpster of the night, we finally got stuff. Do you wanna know who our special guest is? Dun, 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 the husband. All right, he's gonna hold the camera. So if it's shaking, you can yell at him. Yep, it'll be my fault, like everything else. Dosters. Oh, nice. Can you grab this since you got the long arms? If I tell you to jump out, you gotta jump out and run. <laughs> Jesus, he's hit me in the head, guys. I brought the muscles with me. <laughs> he's so much faster than I am. And he's older than me. Car full of posters. We are at the next dumpster. Dollar General, but of course. Yep, we're gonna take that. We got some cat food. They left right out in the buggy, which was nice. And we got some cat litter right there. And it looks like we got a box of maybe some stuff down there. But yeah, if you can get that stuff out, that'd be great. Jeffrey's in the dumpster. <laughs> All those bottles of stuff? Oh, okay. Yeah, they must have emptied them out. They emptied out a lot of litter. All right. Well, that's all we got, guys, but it's better than nothing. I don't know. I might get used to this too much. Yeah. I don't have to do anything. I just got to hold the camera. <laughs> <laughs> just put him to work, right? Really? It's been like five and a half hours. <laughs> no, I don't know how long it's been. But we're at a Dollar General and looky, looky. They left some goodies out for us again in the carts. Let's hope it's not all cold or frozen stuff. Oh, we got coffee. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. That is so awesome. Thank you, Dollar General. All right, so we'll just push these buggies over, but I'm gonna see if there's anything in the dumpster first. It, just don't drive it in the mud. I had some hot guy clean it for me. <laughs> anything in here? No, but it sure does stank. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so awesome. Also, I know you guys always tell me to take these meat sticks. It was about 85 degrees today, so I don't trust these in summertime. If it was wintertime, yes. Summertime, uh, no. All right, we're gonna make muscles over here, push it over to the car, and we're gonna take the uh, goods out. 
Oh, look at all this coffee. Oh, we got some dry eye relief. Don't mind if I do. Oh, look at that. Eye drops. This is awesome, guys. Finally. That's what I was just telling the hubs. I was like, we just need one good dumpster. We didn't even have to get in a dirty dumpster for this. Look at all those goodies. All right. I'm going to stop chatting and load the car. I'm <laughs> making my husband do all the work. <laughs> oh, goodness, guys. Two in a row. We are at CVS, and there's not a lot, but there is a little. Jeffrey is going to hold the camera for me, and I'm going to jump in on this one. Remember, guys, when we first started this? Yeah. How he was like, you really get in the dumpster? I'm like... Off Is that what you call dumpster juice? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's when I got it on my finger. It looks like this might be stuff left over from Easter and um oh my god, that's one hard jelly bean. Oh no, they're breaking up. Okay. It was like 80 degrees today. Just watermelons, more jelly beans, some pistachio, big. More peach rings, more dumpster juice. It's stinky. Oh, this stuff, that stuff is, that's nasty. I'll throw this out, we'll just dump it in there. Oh, look at all those sunflower kernels. Put that in that box. I have hand sanitizer, wait, so don't worry. Some elderberry syrup. And, oh, those are hard as a rock. Now I gotta go get the wet wipes. I try not to use the wipes a lot because it adds to the landfills, but we need the wipes on this one. <laughs> Almost the third dumpster in a row. Not quite. You're professional. Right. We got kind bars in here. Oh, that's why we're not jumping in. You see that? You don't wanna jump in there. Not to touch the dumpster juice. Gross. We got kind bars, Nature Valley biscuits. Is there anything else? No. And we got a bunch of kettle chips. Oh man, this is stanky. Watch them fall head first, guys. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I can't. Ew! He dumpster juiced me, guys. <laughs> Okay. Well, it was worth it. Look at all these chips we saved. These are the good ones, guys. Kettle chips. Don't let them touch the bag. Boy, I don't know the rules yet. Yeah, poor guy. Ooh, those look good. Himalayan salt. Nice. None of them are covered in dumpster juice. I don't know how the hell you do this by <laughs> yourself. I really know. <laughs> Just nope, don't 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 throw it out. Just take the good stuff out and throw it out over the dumpster. Woo! Nuts! Jerky, we're gonna have to uh, don't throw all that jerky out. It was an 80 degree heat. So we'll just take the nuts. Yeah, we don't trust anything that is a meat product in 80 degree heat. We got two things of nuts and we got some more snacks. Alright, is that it? It was just way too hot today to take that stuff. Yeah. If if it was winter time, I would absolutely take that. But you guys know how I am with anything that's like that. It just with me donating it, I don't want to make anybody sick. All right, we're gonna load it up and head on out to the next. We are at Dollar General, and there's stuff. It's not a lot again, but that's okay. I ain't even mad at it because we got some brand new rugs. Oh my god. 
I was recording myself. I was there at the... <laughs> Guys, Jeffrey was recording himself. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we just got this out of a Dollar General. Sorry about that. Oh, man. Yeah, first day on the job. <laughs> He's like, oh, my goodness. I was recording myself. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> That's all right. He made me laugh. We need a good laugh. Yes, we know we do. <laughs> all right. We got two more left, guys. And I'll make sure he's recording the dumpster, not his face. <laughs> all right, guys. We are at one of the last two Dollar Generals. And I know there's some Powerade in here. I see it over there. But I'm hoping there is stuff in these black bags. Remember, my legs aren't that long. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. We are at the last DG, and sadly, there's nothing in the trash. This morning was garbage pickup. I totally forgot, but that's okay. Little sneak peek of it all. We're gonna ask the hubs how his first time dumpster diving was. He's right. chewing, don't mind him. <laughs> I'll always eat. Well, I had a great time with the wife. We had a rough couple weeks. Yes, I had to really get out of the house, and I know it'd make her happy. But I'm probably going to do it again. I told him, I said, you're going to like it. Oh, he doesn't have a seatbelt on. I have mine on, just saying. It's going on. I told him, I was like, it's so addicting. Like, once you start going and you see, like, what's in the dumpster, and like when you walk up you're like oh is there gonna be something good what's gonna be in it and then like you see stuff and you just get super stoked that's how i am anyway. yep. but do you guys remember though when i first started doing this he was like don't be bringing that food in this house i'm not eating anything out of the dumpster <laughs> now he's like oh can i have that <laughs> oh goodness and he won't eat meat do you remember <laughs> we were just talking about this you guys are gonna die. So I did a vlog around Christmas where I got a roast out of the Aldi's dumpster. I'll try and find it and link it up here for you guys to watch it. Cause I know a lot of you guys that are new haven't watched like my older videos. So I'm recording in the kitchen, okay? Like what, what else would I be recording for? It has to do something with dumpster diving, obviously. So I make the roast and I'm doing my whole spiel in front of the camera. And I make it, and I was like, dinner's ready. Make it for him, he eats it. And he's like, where'd you get this from? And I was like, the Aldi's dumpster. He spit it, right back he out spit my it out and was so mad at me. Yep. He's like, I can't believe you fed me dumpster meat. I could have killed you. He was so mad. <laughs> I laughed so hard. So ever since then, I'm not allowed to feed him dumpster nope. meat. Nope. <laughs> anyway, we had a lot of fun. We laughed a lot and I didn't have to lift anything. So it's a win-win. We are going to head home now to our peanuts. My brother-in-law is watching them and I'm sure he's losing his mind by now. So we are back with the full reveal. I hope you guys enjoyed that video with the hubby. That was so much fun to go out with him. And he actually even got in the dumpsters, which was crazy. I didn't think he was going to do it, but he did. So we actually got so much awesome stuff. And it was so good to just get out of the house, to get back in the groove of things, and get my mind busy. That is exactly what I needed. So I'm pretty sure that's what the hubs needed too. So let's dive on in to everything we got at the dumps. The very first place that we went and had luck at was a Dollar General, but of course, 
and we got all of those posters. There are so many cool posters here, so all of the kiddos will absolutely love those. Then we headed to two different CVSs, and I was shook that we found the amount that we did. In the one CVS, there was a lot of dumpster juice. Actually, both of them. It was nasty, now that I recall. They had some funky dumpster juice all over the bags in the one, but the other one, the candy was just sitting in the bottom of the dumpster and there was just a little bit of juice, a little bit of rust. So I washed all of the candy off with soap and water. Well, not the candy, the bags. <laughs> I didn't take the candy out of the bags. And you get what I'm saying. A ton of Laffy Taffy jelly beans, four bags of Russell Stover's jelly beans, two huge bags of Starburst jelly beans, banana chips, fruit snacks, rainbow Twizzlers, two packages of Swedish fish. And also in that one box that I took out, I didn't even realize these were in there. How stinking cute is this? No notepad with a matching pen that has cupcakes on it and we also got 40 zipper seal bags like for a birthday party to put candy in or whatever and this three pack of knives and some tongs which I don't know if that was from the CBS or what but either way it's brand new so yay me <laughs> we of course also went to the other Dollar General and thankfully everything was in bags in that one so no dumpster juice on anything but we got two bags of pistachios some sweet and salty trail mix sunflower seeds five bags of the jalapeno and four bags of the himalayan salt kettle chips this big bag of sunflower kernels and all of these pistachios we have lightly salted we have sea salt and then we have the big value size bags a big bag of this gold Cajun blend trail mix and two containers of the gold mixed nuts. I want to show you the price on this kettle corn from CVS. Y'all are gonna fall the flip out of your chairs when I show you the price of this. I almost threw up in my mouth. <laughs> the price of this is ridiculous. $6.69. Is that not insanity? Who pays that much for kettle corn? And last but Definitely not least, we headed to the Dollar Generals, but of course, we all know the DGs are the best dumpsters, in my opinion. We got tons of coffee at the one, area rugs at the one, which you guys did not see that because he was recording his face, but it's okay. <laughs> He's an amateur. We're, we're teaching him. I'm just going to flip y'all around and show you everything we got from all of the DG. Starting over here, we have some cat food and some cat litter. Tons of Welch's juice. And we have all these little ones. We also got three bottles of the Mott's for Tots, mango juice, so much coffee. We have Duncan, the 1850, Folgers, Green Mountain, and tons of Starbucks coffee. And these are all K-Cups, which you guys know, even just for 10 K-Cups, it is so expensive. Everything's expensive now. Y'all know this. It's crazy. We also got some Laffy Taffy Laugh Bites, apple cider vinegar, gummies, Premier Protein, all this Powerade, mini dips, granola bars, three packages of those, a ton of Kool-Aid packets, a bunch of dry eye relief drops, cranberry watermelon, juice cocktail, Metamucil 4-in-1 fiber, three packages of cheddar cheese crackers, two packages of the pure protein bars. We also got the elderberry syrup from CVS. Last but not least, we got the bath mat sets. And that, my friends, is everything. Not too bad of a dive, if I have to say so myself. For the first one back in over two weeks, I think we did pretty good. And I hope you guys enjoyed having the hubby with me. It was so much fun to just forget about everything that was going on for a few hours and just have fun and chat with each other in the car without the kids <laughs> interrupting us per the usual. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully we'll be able to do it again, but you know, it's kind of hard with his schedule, my schedule and the girls, we always need somebody to watch them. So 
Shout out to my brother-in-law for watching them that day. Thank you so much, Jason. That is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for hanging out with us at the dumpsters and me today in the reveal. I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, happy diving.